what's good guys welcome back to another video so there's an interesting market situation on volatility and 51s index and here in today's video i want us to have a market analysis a market breakdown basically because we've been analyzing from a higher time frame down to a lower time frame this higher time frame can be the daily time frame it can be the weekly or the monthly time frame the reasons why i analyze from a higher time frame is because i want to see the bigger picture of the market i want to be able to identify the market structure properly Supports the high time frame levels and zones. So, here on the weekly time frame, the first thing we do is to identify the market structure, and we can see we've got price create size of higher lows at this point and higher highs. So, this index is in a bullish phase, would say, because we've gotten at least two higher lows and two higher highs formation on this weekly time frame current structure. So, the next thing we do is to support the market levels and zones. We have one of those important levels at this point, which we've seen historical reactions on same price buy here support 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 at this point support here support here as well before we got a break below this level it is a fake sell move a fake breakout basically which price came to create a higher low formation and this zone has been created already so i expect a retracement on this level and seeing the weekly time frame structure we would see that we've got a clear trend on the daily time frame this uptrend move, this breakout we've got on the weekly time frame happens to be an uptrend move on the daily time frame. So this index is clearly in an uptrend, creating higher lows and higher highs formation. And they said that if the market is in an uptrend, our point of focus should be on the buy side of the market to look out for better opportunities. So we've got this index in an uptrend, creating higher lows and higher highs. So before that, on the weekly time frame, we've got other levels which we need to identify. Having this level as a level of same price, we expect seeing the sales resistance, resistance, support at this point. And currently, the market is trading below this level, and we got the rejections lastly from this same zone. So, imagine predicting the sales from this point, we should be making money from this little drop to the downside, which we could still see the market drop further to this zone on the weekly time frame. We could see a move of this kind, the market dropping to the level, we testing this zone. Before we get more bullish continuation, because this index is too bullish, we can see more buy continuation because the market is bullish going on the weekly time frame. Just a drop to the downside price testing this level, the buy move is likely to happen. So the day time frame is looking good as well. Market structure is bullish, we've got shares of higher lows and higher highs. So our interest is to look out for the opportunities on this day time frame and take good advantage of them. Because we can't be waiting for the markets to get to a weekly time frame level or a monthly time frame level before we can take a trade. We can't wait fully for markets to sell into this zone before buying. So if you can get opportunities on this late time frame structure, then you have to take good advantage of it. Because you are day traders basically. I mean, the trader, I just look out for short term opportunities in the market. So we have the next zone the market created here. After this last zone, a new zone was created, which was same price. Sell on as a resistance, those broken retested support price, bought support here, price bought. So, if price can sell into this level, we have buy possibilities. When we look close, we can start. We've got a bullish from a bullish order block formation here, a drop based rally, which I expect price to sell into for the buys, short term buys basically. So, all I'm doing right now is wait for the markets to sell into this zone, which is my buy zone, for a short term buy opportunity on the Vixen 51S index. A move of this kind, price dropping to that level. And I'll look to buying this index from this zone, right? And on this same four time frame, we've got price great size of higher lows, having the first low here, second low at this point, second low here, a higher low, and higher highs at this point as well, having the first highs here, another high at this point, a higher high, a higher high here, basically. And the last higher high. Yeah, so we've gotten three higher lows formation, higher highs formation, sorry, and two higher lows, which I expect the third higher low to be at this same zone. So I'm waiting for the market to sell into this level for the buy. So instead of this uptrend market, we've still got a bullish formation, which I'm looking to take advantage of. Right. So everything is looking bullish on this time frame, on this index. So at this point, what I expect the market to do is to drop into this level for the buys. And we need more sell momentum. We need price to sell before we can buy. So you can take advantage of the short term sell opportunity on this index because we've got a zone on this one hour time frame. When we extend this level, we'll see now we've got historical reactions here. 
which is a potential level where we could get a reaction on. So we've got price buy, support, 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 before it got broken, the sales resistance, the sales resistance as well, the fourth sales, I think the, the third sales, sorry, resistance price sold, and reactions on this level resistance. So this level has been broken, like there was a break below this level, which I expect the market to push up back to this level to retest this broken level of um, support, not on resistance, cause the market lastly reacted on this level as a support which we've got the buys from this level so for price to buy from this level we should expect the sales to this zone right so we want to take advantage of the short term sell opportunity then the long term buys right so if market can retest this level like a break and retest we've got a break already just a retest of this zone a broken level of support which it was previously here turn the distance i'll be shorting this index from this zone with my stop loss above this level so let's see how this goes Sell opportunity expected on VIX and 51S index. And if price can sell into our buy zone, I'll look to buy in from this point as well. So the projection is short term sales for long term buys on this index. And in general, if markets can buy to as high as this level on the four hour time frame, we'll say the day time frame, if price can buy back to this zone, we could see the market drop further to come test this strong level of support on the weekly time frame. You can see we spread it on the weekly time frame. You could see price dropping to this so to come test this level the level of 7656 so this is my trade projection on this in the short term buys for long term sales and long term sales as well for long term buys so that's what happens on this index so if i want to take the sell trade on this index for a day trading opportunity i would update you guys on the, on the result of this trade so for more market business and market analysis do also smash the like button and drop a like comment on this video don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel and to my returning viewers I appreciate the support for engaging in my videos. So let me see a lot, guys. Let's do more. Do have a wonderful day.